We evaluated heart failure patients who were seen in the hospital inpatient with a, acute symptoms to see if we could determine what the predictors of their red cell distribution width are and, and predictors of, of how it changed during the hospitalization. There are many studies that have been done to show that RDW is a predictor of poor outcomes, but it's not really clear why RDW is predictive. And we found a number of different factors, uh, both demographics, comorbidities, and other uh, measurements that are routinely done on heart failure patients that predict what your initial RDW would be uh, at admission to the hospital. And also we found predictors of the change. So during the hospitalization, things that predicted the change in RDW, including medications and other treatment related factors. And this is helpful for us to understand the physiology regarding RDW elevation.